chapter wise list of all my videos is available at this point for dvd pen drive please write an email to me these videos they do not require internet they play offline there is no problem of buffering and please subscribe to my channel for regular updates thank you thank you for your support once again the cost of carpeting of a room is rupees 120 if the width had been 4 meter less the cost of the carpet would have been rupees 20 less the width of the room is what we have to find out the width of the room now one thing we can see from this statement is that the 4 meter width of the room it costs rupees 20 to carpet length has remained the same the cost of the carpet is proportional to the width of the room that you are carpeting see this schematic to understand the things better let this be the length of the room and let this be the width when the whole room is carpeted the cost is rupees 120 when the half the width has had to be carpeted the cost would have been half that cost this means cost is entirely dependent on the width that you are covering the width that you are covering he says if the width had been 4 meter less the cost would have been 20 less this means rupees 20 is the cost for covering a width of 4 meter length etc everything remaining the same so we can write rupees 20 is the cost against 4 meters and 120 is the cost against how many meters that will be the width so we can write rupees 120 is the cost cost against 4 by this 20 multiplied by this 120 the unitary method now this and this will cancel on 6 so the answer would be equal to 6424 meters this was a simple question of visualization let us move to our next question now the perimeter of the floor of a room is 18 meters what is the area of the walls of the room if the height of the room is 3 meters let us first of all draw a schematic suppose the room looks like this let me draw a cuboid shape suppose this is the room and let us suppose this is the length this is the breadth and this is the height of the room we derived a formula earlier about the area of the four walls in terms of the height length and breadth of the room we can derive it just now also so consider this face the area of this face is height into length and there is an opposite face also so the area of two walls can be added as 2 hl add to this the area for this back wall which is equal to h into b and the same is front wall this wall h into b 
so we'll add 2h into b which we can write as 2h into l plus b now what is the perimeter of the base it is 2 times l plus b this l this b that l this b so we can say that this figure is equal to h into perimeter perimeter of floor now let us put the values here the perimeter of the floor is 18 and the height of the room is 3 so height is 3 write 3 here multiply it by perimeter of the floor which is 18 multiply it by 18 so what we get is 54 square meter which is the required answer let us move to our next question now